Hey everybody, it's Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video in Maya 2025. Well, today I'm going to show you how to create a tight fit t-shirt on a male character, right? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use a base mesh uh, that's available under the content browser. So you're going to go to the modeling menu, you're going to go to Windows and uh, Content Browser. And then we're going to go and use this guy right here, character male. We're going to double click on that. And we are going to adjust it a little bit. And I don't want my video to be uh, banned or whatnot. So the guy has his willy out. So let me just uh, get rid of that. Right click at the face. All good, all centered, right? Yeah, the age we live in. Anyway, yeah, so like that, all right? Now, tight fit t-shirt. Now you're gonna work on your model. And what you're basically gonna do is you're gonna add detailing. So if you have a t-shirt seam, you would add it straight onto the body. Um, sometimes they do it that way. Uh, so basically when the character is rigged and animated, uh, the t-shirt will move exactly with the body. Uh, that's not really great, but it, it can work. So if that's something you want to do, you can do it this way, right? Uh, if you don't want to do it this way, you can turn the uh, clothing into end cloth and you can have it draped on the body and so forth. And if you wanted me to do a video on that as well, let me know in the comments, right? But for now, we're gonna go with that tight fit. Okay, so what do we need? We need seams. So let's go in here to edge, and we're gonna click on this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy, right? And we're gonna hit uh, bevel, all right? Let's do 0 0.3, that's fine. So 0 0.3, so we're gonna go in here to face, click and double click. Let me change the material for a second here so we can see it better. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna click on this, click on this, and I have to redo the one at the bottom there. Click on that and we're gonna hit uh, extrude. And we're going to do a thickness of 0 0.2. All right. Then we're going to go down here. We're going to go to insert edge loop. And we'll put one right there like so. Q on the keyboard. Right click on a face. Click shift double click. Extrude. 0 0.2. All right. So now if we go in here and we smooth this guy out you'll see something looking like a t-shirt now you're probably thinking the lines aren't crisp enough well that's fine you just go back you right click go to edge get that internal edge and uh, that one as well do that over here And then here as well. And then at the bottom. All right. And what you do there is go to bevel, go to 0 0.01, hit enter. There you go. And now if you go back in and we have three to smooth, you'll get something looking like this. And then if we have, uh, let's see, uh, ambient occlusion turned on, or it was on, yeah, you'll see that. Now, uh, like I said, uh, a lot of people will do it like this. It's uh, perfectly fine, it looks okay, uh, but if you have, let's say, I don't know, uh, logos on the t-shirt or a pouch or something, and you're animating your model and it stretches out it looks it looks off right but nevertheless it isn't it is a method that you can use and uh, yeah that's how you do it 
Uh, of course, uh, modeling for a female character is a bit more tricky because you would have the t-shirt going around the breasts and in between that would be straight. So you'd have to manipulate the mesh, right? But you can make shorts this way, you can make socks, you can make, uh, I don't know, a whole, short, um, whole, whole array of things, right? Anyway, yeah, that's what I wanted to show you in this video. Hopefully uh, it was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.